Before adding the flushing solution, I usually drain one or two quarts from the engine beforehand. We'll leave a little bit of oil behind in the drain pan without completely draining it. This increases the potency of the flushing solvent while preventing the possibility of lockup. Now let's check the oil level on the dipstick. You can see the drip at the very tip of the dipstick. It's one, about one quart below the hatch marks, which means there's two or three quarts sitting in the drain pan, which is plenty of room for the flushing solution. I added about two quarts of flush and the oil level on the dipstick is now at the top of the hatch marks. If you want to, you can pour a quart of flush straight into the engine without draining the motor oil, as I did, and it won't hurt anything. Flushing solutions are low viscosity liquids, so you won't be creating any oil pressure problems as long as you don't get carried away and add too much. There's a lot of different flushes on the market that you could use for your car. Marvel Mystery Oil is a popular brand. Motor Medic is another choice. In this video I'm using plain old kerosene. Both kerosene and diesel gasoline are cheap and powerful flushing solutions. On the other hand, they don't have any additives in them to protect rubber seals and gaskets. I ran the engine on idle for about 10 minutes and now I'm draining the oil kerosene mixture out of the system.
Before adding the oil, we'll start off with a quart of Lucas. Lucas reduces the blow-by problem that this engine suffers from. The owner's manual says we need 4.2 quarts for an oil and filter change. Once you get back on level ground, check the dipstick, top off the fluid if necessary, and we're finished. Flushing your engine, especially with harsh chemicals like kerosene and diesel, is hard on oil seals and gaskets. It's not something you'd want to do on a regular basis unless you have a sludge problem or an old vehicle that needs its oil passages cleaned. 100,000 miles is a great time. 